rising from deep within, falling from the heavens. The lives of eastern Kentucky mirror the Maker's hand. Mountains and valleys, hollows and holes, where the light must be packed in, where the pulse carries on. It may not be easy, but what in life is, it holds such meaning. Convictions, generations strong, carve out the way, as deep as the mines where daily efforts fill life with a harvest overflowing. And though outsiders sometimes distort the essence, those who live and die here know the truth. It is home, and that is all that matters. Coal for Eastern Kentucky, I think, is, is real important because the people that live here depend on coal as a job. If, if, if we didn't have the mines here, they would be an enormous amount of people out of work because that's what the people in this area has grown up from. They started from their parents, a lot of them, and they went on, you know, their great-grandpas when they was digging coal by hand and now they've got it up to the markets where they use mining machines and you don't do it as much as physical labor does. You do it by machinery doing it. Coal is just a real, a real need in this area here for people to survive. A lot of people don't understand when they walk over and flip these lights on where this comes from. West care, we keep it hot, working 12 steps and it's never gonna stop, that's how we rock, yeah, that's how we roll, the problems in your life, it's time to let them go, surrender to God, believe and have faith, you're here in this place because of God's grace, so give it a shot, and know you're not alone, cause West care will always be your home, it's West care come on, let's keep it real, it's your ticket out of jail, and you thought you had a deal, but the My name's Morgan George, I'm 24 years old, and I'm from Pikeville, Kentucky. But how I got here is uh, I'm on probation, but there's good people in Pikeville that are willing to, you know, give you second chances and stuff. So. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Amen. If I ever have any problems, I know I can come right up here and I got a fellowship that I can rely on. And, uh, I feel like I've definitely grown a lot spiritually and will continue to grow a lot spiritually. I don't know, I definitely want to pursue my uh, music thing when I get out. Uh, my nickname is Spider. I'm 14. My full name is Aaron Connor Hillriggs Brown. Which I plan to change to Aaron Undead one day, but I'm a musician. I play anything from like techno to alternative to metal. represents many, many students across the world that want to experience their own creativity and they want to do whatever that they can do not to conform to a cookie cutter world. And his creativity is expressed in his own way and he chooses to do that by his music, by his writing, by his clothes, by his dress, by his hair. I mean, I wear eyeliner, I wear tight jeans sometimes, you know, which I really don't consider myself goth. I'm just Aaron, you know, wear whatever. 
But a lot of people consider me goth or emo or whatever you want to call me. He's unique. He's a nice guy though. I mean, if you get to know him, he hadn't been here his whole life, but the people that he hangs out with have. They really are some of the nicest group of people, and you really wouldn't know it. Most people are intimidated by him. He's highly intelligent, very good conversationalist. You know, he can talk to you about anything, and he's a really good artist. He's got a lot of his own ideas. Um, not that they always agree with what they need to here at school, but he uh, has a lot of potential.